Hi there everybody, this is Brian back again with another 100% PowerPoint tutorial. And today we're going to be doing something real fun. We're going to be doing a road animation. So as you can see here we have this animation of driving down a road at night. But as usual, you didn't come here to watch an animation, you came here to learn how to build it. So the first thing we're going to do as usual is escape out of here and create a new slide because I like to do things from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is draw the guides that we're going to use to build our lines on our road. So you're going to use the oval right here and you're going to draw a nice big circle and make sure that it extends outside of the bounding box like so. And you want to make sure that you're aligning to the slide. You're going to go up to a range and align to center and a range and align to middle. Now right click and then go to shape form, or format shape and you want to make sure that you have your size and properties checked in the format shape and make sure you click this uh, lock aspect ratio and you'll notice that you'll have the scale height and this is going to become very important in a second but what you're going to do is you're going to hold down control and shift and then just drag this over a little bit and it'll duplicate at a hundred percent and you're going to make that fifty percent hit enter and you get yourself a nice uh, circle about fifty percent of the size and then once again you're going to repeat that on this new smaller circle hold down control and shift and then drag across and you'll notice that it actually makes it a hundred percent again and you're just going to select that again and go to 50%. And you are going to repeat this until you have 10 circles. So, control and shift, 50%. Control and shift, 50%. Okay, so now we have five of them and we need to do this five more times. So, control and shift, 50%. And I'm going to show you what happens if you do the other way, which I suppose you could just do Control D to duplicate and get yourself 50% again. Control D to duplicate and 50% again. And I believe we have what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we just need to do that a couple more times. And I accidentally checked off of that. So once again, make sure you go to size and property because as you can see, it's going to keep this at 50%, but I want to duplicate it and make that 50% and duplicate that one. Duplicate that one and make that one 50%. All right, now you have all of the circles that you need. So you're going to go ahead and hit Control A to select everything. And with Align to Slide still checked, go to Arrange and go to Align, Center, go to Arrange and go to Align, Middle. And we're going to also turn off the fill on this. And let's go ahead and bring this uh, point size down to 0.25 for the stroke and we're going to group it just to make it pretty easy to keep track of and an easy way to group it is just right click on any of the circles go to group and just hit group or you can hit control G the next thing we're going to do is draw our lane guides and this is probably going to be one of the most tedious parts of this tutorial, but if you bear with me, you'll see how easy it can be. So we're going to select our line tool up here. And this is going to be a tough little trick, but you're going to start from the middle here. And what you want to do is you want to draw a line. And there's a fun little trick here. You'll see that the endpoints turn green and what this is saying is that it's snapping to an actual anchor point in this circle 
But what we're trying to do is get this to actually snap to the bottom anchor point of your innermost circle. And then go ahead and grab this one here, and you want this one to snap to the bottom point of the second innermost circle. And once you have those two, you're good to go. And now we're going to draw another line, and this time we want to align, we want to snap to the top anchor point of the second innermost circle to the top anchor point of the innermost circle. And now that those two are nice and aligned up, you go ahead and make that top one 100% transparent, and you're going to select this bottom one, hit Control G to group it, and we're going to repeat this for every other circle. So, not the second most inner, but the third most inner. And we're going to align this one to the bottom of the anchor point of the fourth most inner. And you see that one's a lot easier than that first one, so I apologize for you having to do that first one. It's a tough one. And once again, make that top one transparent, select both, and group. And once again, you're going to repeat this for every other circle. As you can see, there's that. And let's see, there is that. Make it invisible and group. Now, this one. We can kind of zoom out to make it a little bit easier. And this one. Make that top one invisible. Select both and group. And just one more, your outermost circle. So snap. Green and green means go, and the last one. Top, top. There we go. Make that 100% transparent and group. And you're actually done with your guides now, so you can go ahead and select those and delete them. Now that we have the makings of our lane dividers, we're going to do a little bit of animation work. So, once again, let's go ahead and select one of these inner ones, and we're just going to zoom in as close as we can get it. And here's where you're going to need to do just a little bit of math. So, I'm going to select my second longest line here, and we're going to go to the height. So the height here is one point, or sorry, point 18. So Let's go ahead and pull up a calculator real quick. So this is going to be very important because what you want to do is you want to divide the height of the second longest by the height, or the sorry, the second shortest by the height of the shortest. So it was 0.18 and you're going to divide that by 0 0.05. So let's open up the calculator again. So be 0.18 divided by 0 0.05 and what that gives us is 3.6 and we're going to multiply that by 100. And remember this value, so 360 and that's going to be very important in a sec because what we're going to do is we're going to select animations, we're going to go to add animation, and we're going to go to grow shrink, and then let's open up the animation pane and double click on this, and we're going to go ahead and type in that value which was 360, and we're going to set it up to just vertical Go to timing. We're going to set this up as with previous. 
duration. Let's just go ahead and type in 0.25 seconds. And we're going to set it up to repeat until the end of the slide and go and hit OK. And let's take this to slideshow just to see what happens here. So as you can see, there's a slight animation that's happening. And next, we're going to duplicate this again. So select that first one and go to Animation Painter. And we're going to click on this second line. Go ahead and hit Animation Painter again. Click on this third line. Animation Painter again. This line. And one more time, Animation Painter. And one last time. Now let's go ahead and go to slideshow again and you'll see that now we're starting to get this feel of actually going down a road. So let's go ahead and escape out of here because we still have a little bit of more work to do because we're going to go to this first one that we created and click on it. Go to add animation and we're going to add a fade. Double click on that. Go to timing and once again we're going to type in 0.25 and we want to repeat until the end of the slide. And depending on how you want this to build you can keep it on click. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it up as with previous as well and hit OK. And we'll bring this up to the top of everything. And now, let's go ahead and hit Slideshow one more time so you can see what's happening. So you'll see what's happening is as this one is growing and it's going, you know, becoming the same size as what this one was, it's fading in, so it gives that feel that it's coming in from a distance. So we're going to escape out of here. And one more thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll out or zoom out just a little bit, hit Control-A, and let's bring up the width of everything and we're going to make it we'll just say 20 points width for now and we'll go ahead and deselect and one more time let's look at this and now I think what you're starting to see is this the uh, building blocks of this road actually kind of coming towards you from the distance so let's go ahead and hit escape because the next thing that we're going to need to do is kind of uh, build a little bit of a mask for this and that's when you're really going to see this uh, this illusion of a road. Now the next step that we need to do is we need to create a bit of a mask and this is what's going to create the uh, lines and shape that we need for our road. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to go to uh, home and we're going to select a shape here and we're going to select a trapezoid and it'll be kind of towards the uh, third, fourth row down up top here and let's just draw a nice little trapezoid and what we want to do is we want it to align to the bottom here and we want it to be somewhat aligned with our topmost stroke here so let's just go ahead and bring that in and let's go ahead and bring that up so it snaps at the bottom there. And let's zoom back out. And we're going to hit Arrange, Align to the bottom, and Arrange, and Align to the center. And then go ahead and select one of these uh, middle anchor points on the left or the right. It doesn't matter. Hold down Control and Shift. And we're just going to drag this out a little bit beyond the uh, view here and if you grab this little orange circle here and drag it it'll actually uh, pull in your topmost points and let's go ahead and just gonna zoom in here because we want to see where we drop this in so there we go that's pretty good and we're going to go to uh, line here and we're going to select no line and let's go ahead and just make the shape black for now and now let's zoom out 
and we're going to go to arrange and send that one to the back and now what we want to do is we want to hit control D for duplicate and duplicate that a couple of times and let's go ahead and select both of these new trapezoids and once again as long as you still have a line to slide go to arrange and go to a line align to bottom and arrange and align to center. Go ahead and deselect both and select just the top one and what you want to do is grab this side anchor left or right it doesn't matter but hold down control and shift and then drag this in towards the center and you want to get it somewhat in line with these lines that you've created and now select this second trapezoid underneath it hold down shift and you're going to go up to shape format merge shapes over here towards the left bottom and go to combine and let's go to uh, let's go to slideshow mode one more time so you can kind of see what's happening now and what we've done is we've created this nice masking effect but it looks like it's just kind of slightly not you know dropping off here and you'll notice there's a little bit of a flicker up here so we're going to fix that now so go ahead and hit escape and the first thing we want to do is select this bottom most one and let's change the stroke weight up to 30 points so now you can see it's kind of going outside with the mask a bit and let's zoom in a little bit closer to these top most pieces and what you want to do is select both of them this one's kind of hidden but there you go and we're going to actually make these two point actually yeah two points good and let's go to presentation mode again and there you have it you actually have this nice illusion of these lines coming towards you from the distance and we can go ahead and escape out of here and right there you're pretty much good to go you have have yourself a nice road that you can use in your presentations however we can kick this up a little bit by adding a few more touches so what you want to do is go up to your rectangle tool here and just go ahead and drag from top edge down to a midpoint and this just kind of overlaps your road here and that's gonna create your sky let's remove the line and let's make this just kind of a nice light blue maybe it's a nice you know clear sky and we're going to go up to rectangle and we're gonna create one more and this time edge to edge on the bottom area here and there we go and this time we're going to do no line and maybe you're on a road on your way to the beach so let's make it just kind of this nice light gold color so you kind of get this idea of sand and go to arrange and send to back and let's hit play one more time and there you go you have yourself a nice uh, road leading off into the you know the blue sky in the distance there and you can actually play with this a lot more you can add some uh, clouds or perhaps some uh, sun in the sky I mean honestly the sky is the limit the pun was intended and unintended all at the same time but you should be all set um, hopefully you enjoyed learning this I had fun teaching it and uh, please feel free to reach out to me in the comments section or you know you can um, reach out to me on Instagram I'm uh, pretty active on there uh, the best way to find me is a uh, brandle 27 but also if you just look up 100% PowerPoint hashtag um, that's a good way to find me as well um, but yeah thank you for taking the time and once again this has been 100% PowerPoint <laughs>